Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so got to give me a second so I can get to a point where I can read this one. Uh, ooh, that's perfect. Gardner. I got you. I got you. All right, so... Uh, da, 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 da. If you could move to any country, where and why would you move there? Um... I can go first if you want to think about it. Uh, yeah, you go first. Uh, so it's kind of a tie for me, I guess. Uh, I mean, America's a great place, but I, I'm just kind of assuming that there isn't an option to stay in America, because I probably would. Um, but if I had to choose another place, it's got to be, be between Canada and Switzerland. Uh, and... Why? Reasons. Okay, so Canada just seems like a really nice place. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's big. Second big, biggest country in the world, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I feel uh, and I feel like I could have a nice little house up in the Canadian wilderness, and I could just live uh, very happily. Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot of people there for how big it is, and uh, I they have universal health care. Uh, um, I don't know. It just seems like a cool place to live. And then Switzerland, they've got a lot of guns. <laughs> Guns are cool. Um, <laughs> they make like, uh, military service mandatory. Like the logic. I mean, actually, yeah, if you've served in the military in Switzerland, you have to... I, I think you, you keep your service rifle, rifle and, like, you, like, it's by law that you have to keep it in good condition in a safe. And they are just, uh, for not getting into any wars, uh, they are... They're pretty really well ready. armed for, uh, yeah, they are ready to get into a war that is never going to happen. <laughs> so, good good for them. Uh, sorry, I got that. Um, well, should probably get Jug, Connor. I and, had uh, Jug, yeah, man. So I had Jug and Double Pack. I, I think they can have, like, a 600,000 man standing army in 24 hours. I thought it was uh, uh, the last start it was 600, but, yeah, that's, that's Switzerland. It, it, oh, and Swiss Chocolate. That, that's Ooh. that's a definite reason right there. <laughs> Are like yeah, so Switzerland apparently like really attractive all the time. Isn't that uh, like every, it seems like everyone from like the uh, the northern European countries like Norway, Sweden, uh, probably not Finland. I bet there are a lot of gross Finnish people. Uh, <laughs> but like the yeah like all, all those like northern European countries seem to have some really beautiful people. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't be able to pull anybody in uh, Switzerland. I'd have to get <laughs> married before I went there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, basically, on the Switzerland side, guns and chocolate. Um, Canadian side, nice wilderness and... I don't know, French people. <laughs> the gun laws uh, are also, like, decent in Canada, aren't they? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I, think, I, think I mean, compared to here, like... they're terrible, but... I think they have like hunting rifles there or something like that. I don't want just hunting rifles. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna move to um. Uh, it's it's spelled like Kibarati, but it's spelled like Kibarabi, or it's pronounced like Kibarabi. What and um, is this on? it's um. It's near India, and it's okay. um, it's supposed to be the first country that's gonna get like like majorly affected by global warming, and I'm gonna get like a uh -huh. like a like a yacht type thing, and it it's like a it's basically a stretch of land like 500 meters wide by like a mile long, I think. So you could basically like jog the uh, the border of this thing if you wanted to, and I basically have like my own little yacht. And I just kind of live there. In my game park. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting answer. Okay. Give me a second country, like one that people have heard of. Second country, uh... I mean, like, if you think about it, like... I'd a lot of the countries that are like America would probably be pretty good choices, like Britain, Canada, oh, a yeah, lot I, of the European countries. I don't like some of the gun laws there, so I, I don't want to be able to, like, guns. So, uh... I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding insane... Uh, I can you I, keep this crawler? Uh, yeah. I kind of want to live in Iraq. Okay, interesting. Uh, and elaborate. <laughs> so, so I'm going to have... 
I'm gonna have like a compound in the mountains, right? And I'm gonna like like a secluded type thing, like right. where like no one's uh -huh. gonna no one's gonna find me except like the U.S. Army. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm gonna make it clear to them that I'm going there so I don't get like drone striked. And I'm gonna have like a compound, really really high fucking walls, like barbed wire and shit, and uh, like armed guards for twenty like all times. And I'm basically just gonna make like turn that like country into my little playground. Interesting. It's probably not gonna <laughs> work well, but I'm just gonna have like rooms full of like AK forty sevens and like RPGs. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> my game plan. That is a weird life to live. Pakistan <laughs> has uh, some really nice mountains, I know. Yeah, the, the I think uh I don't know, I think once you get to Pakistan, it's not really even that hot anymore, and if you go to, like, the top of the mountains, so there's, like, snow, so... Yeah. Uh, I think that, I think they have some really nice, uh, nice people there. Or not, sorry. There are not nice people in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I, I'm sure the locals are nice, but I, I think there are some, like, terrorism groups there. Oh, definitely, yeah. Alright. Yeah, alright, so... What is your favorite episode of Spongebob? Uh, the one, the one where, uh, that, like, jo like, the, uh, the guy in the boat's, like, drawing, and he drops his pencil, and oh. he goes down to the ocean bottom. Mihoi, 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 Yeah. Doi, mihoi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Um, gosh, so mine, when I, when I said episode, I meant, like, complete like 30 minutes uh long episode but i, I guess those are kind of hard to memorize so mine is uh it's the one where spongebob is trying to get into the i think it's called the salty spittoon or something like that um and and like he uh he's trying to prove that he's like tough enough and then like the episode that's attached to that one is called i think squilliam returns and it's it's the one where uh spongebob empties his mind of everything but Reading and fine dining, or, or whatever. That was a good one. Um, and, um, yeah, that, and then a, a close runner up to that would be. Ooh, I had an answer. Mm. Okay, can you not use that shotgun? Because uh, that's going to mess up the audio recording. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because it oh, sounds no. like you're like right next to me. It's just, it's really loud. Um, gosh, I, I, had a, I had a second one. Uh, what is it? Alright, I don't remember, but if I think of it, I will tell you. Ooh, wait, no, I figured out. Band Geeks. It's it's the one where they uh, made the band. That was an awesome one. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you remember that one? No, I don't remember a lot of SpongeBob. I, it was kind of like Family Guy in the sense that, like, it was just kind of mindless entertainment for me, you know? Yeah. I... I watched a lot of SpongeBob when I was younger. <laughs> uh... Yeah, probably the like the Ahoy Mihoi. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> right.